All right, in the collector world of classics, usually old pieces of tech aren't really all that interesting. Like who wants to buy an iPhone 6 right now? The number one most sought after piece of tech in the collector world is the factory sealed, unopened, original iPhone. Now, fun fact, back when we went to go make that um, reviewing every single iPhone video, we did have to go back and find and buy a working version of every single iPhone ever made. And the further back you go, the harder it is to find a working version. And we eventually did find a couple, like these three original used, but still working iPhones from 2007. Maybe it's because they're 16 years old, they are really beat up, but the fact that they're still working is kind of a miracle. Finding one that is original, still sealed, never been opened, never even been touched by human hands or seen by human eyes is uh, extremely rare. It's so rare that I've actually seen many people get scammed by this. An unopened iPhone is so rare and valuable that people will actually reseal a used original iPhone and sell it online as an original. And man, YouTubers have fallen victim to this, spending thousands of dollars to try to get their hands on what they thought was going to be an untouched iPhone. It's just crazy that people go out scamming like this, but hey, the difference in value between just any old original iPhone and a new sealed untouched iPhone is gigantic and it's well worth the price of the cellophane and the heat gun and the effort required to make an old iPhone seem new. Only about 6 million first gen iPhones were ever sold. And so of course, the number of unopened ones will only ever go down from here. And it's sort of this weird game of trying to figure out when their value has peaked. And looking at the numbers, it actually feels like it has peaked. So one actually sold at an auction in February this year for over $60,000, which was a record and the highest we've ever seen. Then another one appeared at an auction in March a month later. That one went for $55,000. Then there was one with this Lucky You sticker, even more rare. They probably thought they were gonna get the most money for it, but it actually went up at an auction a few weeks ago in Chicago and somebody scooped it for only $40,000. I guess they got a bit of a discount because that person was me. And this is the package it came in uh, because that auction house was not messing around. It was actually kind of surreal winning this auction. Just for the record, it's not like a normal auction site like ebay.com where you just click a button and you win. This is an actual auction, like a live streamed video of a guy with a gavel going, do we get 6,000 over here? 6,500 in the front row, we got 6,800 on the phone, do we hear 7,000? 7, 7,000 here, and it just keeps going and you can participate from anywhere in the world. So they were going through a bunch of stuff and the iPhone was item number 203. And so when they got to 203, I logged into the site and I had my initial offer placed, which was the minimum of $32,000. The contents have been x-rayed, verified, going once, going twice, sold to the online bidder, moving on. I just won, like that was the moment when I committed to uh, figuring this whole thing out. And so the rest of the price was just uh, sales tax and uh, bidding premium and shipping, which feels like a really good time to say that this video is sponsored by you. There's a lot of things that we could have spent $40,000 on, like camera equipment, for example, but we decided to do this. And so we've brought back the MKBHD matte black wallet. It was super limited edition before, but they were very popular. So we're bringing them back in a slightly less limited edition at shop.mkbhd.com. They're also really sick. And now I can say that this video is made possible by my wallet. The link is below, please buy one. Have I made a huge mistake? Only one way to find out, but uh, it's time to dig into this gigantic crate. So my biggest question as I get into this is, how do I verify if this is actually brand new and untouched by human hands? Like on the auction website, we did see that there were, uh, there were some x-rays and the x-rays are cool and they make it feel really official, but all we really know by seeing those x-rays is that the accessories are in fact in the box. We don't know if they're untouched. Oh. And then the other thing about this is, when you, when you put in a serial number on like Apple's checker, uh, you can see that it is not registered. So whoever 
got this phone originally, which I think they said the name of the original owner who brought it in, uh, never registered it. It was never used. It was never activated. But that doesn't mean it was never opened. So this, this is very much uh, a trust exercise. So many layers. This is like a Russian doll of OG tech products. Now this is the one where I need to be careful. I'm a professional, guys. It's fine. This is fine. There it is. That is the packaging of this brand new, but also not so brand new, original iPhone. You can see it's got a little bit of browning around it. I'm not too put off by that. And some of the articles that I read online after I bought it were saying basically this break here in the corner and uh, some other factors are possibly why it went a little bit lower than the record $60,000 price. It also has this upside down Lucky You sticker. Every article that I've read that I've looked up about this Lucky You sticker, nobody seems to know what it is. It's kind of confusing because it is super rare. Other original sealed iPhones don't have this sticker. I even asked people at Apple, they don't know what it means. There are so many things that I think people forgot about the original iPhone. One is it didn't have an app store, so it was just the apps that were on it. And two, you couldn't set a wallpaper with the first version of iOS. So everyone's iPhone looked exactly the same. So without any further ado. This is the moment that all the value just went from 40,000 to, uh, I don't know, depends on how good the condition of the phone is, but the plastic wrap, the 16 year old, it, it does have a smell. Ooh, fancy. So they had foam in the top of the boxes and this is the way it showed up facing you on the top. Wow, I think that is actually brand new. It's just a little thing, just a nicely designed little factory seal thing. Oh, this is harder than a, this happened in Justine's video. This is a hard screen protector to take off. Okay, so there's a little piece of plastic, hard plastic actually. Then there is the documents signed, designed by Apple in California. I actually don't know if there's a sticker. This is now all new territory for me, despite it being old. Oh, there's more. There's a there's a whole microfiber inside that says iPhone on it. Interesting. Fingertips. These are all the uh, the tips for using and operating your iPhone in 2007. How to set a passcode. How to send a message. How to browse the web. And uh, oh, the stickers are a little bit askew. Is that how they were? Can you see those? How they're, one of them is upside down and tilted, the other one's right side up and tilted. So it kinda, it kinda looks on purpose, but it also looks different because they're usually aligned now. There is even more. This is what I was talking about. This is what was x-rayed by the auction house, just to verify that they're here, but they're all also still sealed in the box. So USB-A wall brick. You also have a 30 pin dock with a headphone jack out on the back. This is nice. Let's open the, let's open the dock. That is brand new, wow. It would look like that. Uh, you also get two more things. You get a 30 pin, USB-A to 30 pin uh, charging cable and data cable. You plug this into iTunes, plug it into your computer and ear pods. This was back in the iconic days of, well, the silhouette commercials and the white headphones and plugging a wire into your phone. That feels very legit. I don't think it's gonna turn on, but I'm gonna hold the power button anyway. This is one of those things where like, it's a 16 year old battery, of course it's not gonna turn on. That would be a pretty red flag actually, if it did boot up, if it, okay, it doesn't, that's good. This, is, this all just feels like exactly what they didn't want me to do when I bought this original iPhone. Look at the difference between that brand new, fresh piece of metal 
versus one that somebody was out using in their everyday lives. So while I wait for this a little bit to just probably take a minute to charge, but I feel like I can say that with all that I know and all the research that I've done going into this purchase, it seems like this one is legitimately brand new and unopened. If anyone can tell me, if anyone knows, or if anyone who's watching this worked in Apple retail around the time in 2007 when the iPhone was launched, what if this came from Apple or if this is something completely different, I would love to know because that would be really interesting. There's one story online about how it might've been like a holiday season sticker. Who knows? All right, we're back. Actually, I'm back the next day, hence the different shirt and the haircut, but ignore that. Uh, and I wanna go over everything that I learned because we now have gotten the iPhone to turn on and I am convinced that it is an unopened original. And I also learned some things about the iPhone too. So, First of all, I am convinced that it's an unopened original because of this shrink wrap being super old, because of the shrink wrap that was around the iPhone that was inside the box being perfect looking, and even the fact that it's actually surprisingly difficult to get a 1.0 iPhone to get past this uh, iTunes boot screen. If you actually download an old version of iTunes and plug it in and try to activate it, it you can get surprisingly far and still not actually get it to activate. That all sort of lends credence to the fact that we could get other iPhones to activate because they had later versions of software. Long story short, this is as far as we got with it and it does turn on and work. The weird thing that we found was number one, this is the original brick and the original cable that came with the iPhone. We plugged them in overnight. We came back in in the morning and it still didn't turn on. But when we replaced the brick, and not the cable, it actually started to charge. Second thing to learn is there was no SIM card ejector tool with the iPhone at all, but when you do grab a SIM card ejector tool and pop open the SIM card tray at the top, you will find that there is a gigantic SIM card included with the iPhone. So this was a AT&T slash singular exclusive when it came out. And look at the size of this SIM card. This is the, uh, the original size SIM card back in the day before micro and nano SIM cards. But then yeah, I did not remember that it shipped with this dock until I did my research. And I also didn't know it would ship with a black microfiber and these Apple stickers that are slightly askew. And this brand new pristine iPhone is now worth dramatically less than what I paid for it. And that's okay. So that'll be it. Hopefully I don't regret this. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if anyone knows what the Lucky You sticker means, definitely hit us up in the comments or on Twitter. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.